everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jeannie Ellis and I'm also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. And first of all, I want to apologize for taking so long to do some recording. It was just a, a real hard uh, holiday for me with uh, Charles being gone. But um, I'm back in the game and I'm going to do a review here. Not really a review, just uh, show you what I found out about this these solar paste they're by Simon Hurley and uh, they are just beautiful I did a card and where I put it now I don't remember but what I want to do is just test this on different papers and it won't be a lot of papers and uh, it won't be a lot of uh, different things but I just I just want to test it and see what works for me it might work for you too but anyway this is just kind of a, a fun little thing for me to do because yesterday was the first time I used these and I fell in love with them you know when you first open them up you're looking at it and go well that isn't uh, that isn't a rose a rose color but I'll show you something that'll happen once you and you probably guess it by now you probably will anyway uh, but anyway that doesn't look like a rose color and you know right there it isn't at that point and somehow I got my ca camera crooked there I don't know what I did sometimes I do these things and <laughs> but anyway we're gonna work with it and then this one is a uh, overheated which I thought was a funny name so it's more than likely had to be red or in that color line. But see how white that looks? Let's see if I can get closer. It's got some mica in it, I believe. I could be wrong with this. I didn't really read it. I just wanted to have some fun with it. And this one is Crocodile Tears, which it's a green color. And then I've got this small one. It is Golden Leaf, I believe it says, if I can see it. It's a small one. Oh, <laughs> no, Golden Hour. How did I get Leaf out of that? Well, anyway, that's what we're going to play, play with. So, I've got some card fronts that are like four by five and a quarter. And these are just basically to use uh, if I need a card front for an occasion or something, then I'll have these. And what I noticed about this paste, it, it dried very quickly. I mean, it wasn't like instant, but it dried very quickly, and which surprised me. So, let's uh, just take one of these. Let's see, this is a pink, this is a red. I think I want to put the green in the middle. And this one, I'll do something else with it later. So, I'm going to, let's see, start out with the pink. And I'm just going to spread it on this sheet. I'll do something else with it later. And, you know, I'm not doing a lot of techniques with it. But I just wanted to play with it and let you all see what beautiful uh, colors it does. And I better put one of these on at least. These are really good magnets. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, how do I want to do it? I'm just going to randomly put it. Now this is a black cardstock, so it's it's going to show pretty good. And as it dries and everything, if you need to do a little more to it, you can. Now if you put it on too thick, it's going to take longer to dry, of course. But we're just going to, I don't want to rub too hard. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do, since I'm using the same colors, I'm not going to rinse those out yet. Okay, so that was the Cross My Heart. Now I'm going to do the green. And let's see. I'm going to just take a little bit at a time. And I've got part of that dried there. 
this is beautiful paste, El Solar paste. And I can see why they call it solar paste. You could get, now I don't, these are the only colors that I have. And it doesn't hurt for you to go off a little bit on there, onto the other color. It doesn't hurt at all. Okay. And now, my understanding is that it's supposed to pick up better on darker papers, but we're going to, we're going to experiment. See, that's almost dry now. Okay. More of the dried formula. Okay, let's see now. I made it too big here, so <laughs> we turn it over around here. Oops, this is slippery. Slippery when wet. Okay. I put the overheated color on. Yep, overheated. But isn't that cool how it turns from the white color into the red, the pinks, the yellows, the greens, the blues. The next one I want to get is the blue. I'll put a link below where I got mine. If I can find that. But you can find them online in a lot of places. Okay. Now. Now I've got this line here. Which is not going to hurt anything. Especially if you're going to put a stencil over it. I'm pretty well, messed. I'm pretty messy when it comes to things like this. Okay, we're just going to let that dry a little bit before I do anything else, but look at the shine on that. It's just a simple black piece of paper, and now look at the shine. I'm anxious to see what color, if these turn more of a green or white. Because right now they're white. But that's just a sample right now. But the colors are beautiful. Now I'm going to get another black sheet. But this time it's already got... No, this was a dark blue. and More like a royal blue. I mean, it's a beautiful paper on its own. But I want to see what it looks like using this already colored and everything so i'm going to take a stencil i think i want to take uh, these <clears throat> this one right here and i'm a lefty so i'm going to have to move it that way a little bit which way do i want to go okay I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to put that there. And on over here. And here, boy, do they grip. There we go. Let's see if I can do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start... I think I'm going to go ahead and start at the top with this green this time. I'm going to test it for just a minute. See if I'm getting it. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, I'm getting it. Okay. Alright, this is the green. Alright, now let's see. I think I want to take the next color, which is the overheated. And I'm going to get my brush out. See, with the dark color, 
I don't know if you can see it there very well, but with the darker color, you can see it turn color right away almost. I mean, it's like, there it is, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah, darker color is better. And this is a look, kind of like a royal blue. Okay, now I'm going to get my solo paste uh, across my heart. I used to have a bucket or a container with water that I could put stencils in it right away, and I totally forgot to do that. Now, I'm not an expert at this, so you can see that I'm not doing some spots. I'm not doing as good as I should, but that's okay. I'm learning, and this is on blue, so the green here is given more of a, if you look at it, you know, look at it right, it's got kind of more of a, a teal color to it now, and then, of course, the overheated is in the middle. And the cross my heart is on the bottom. And those two right now are like pretty close in color. So I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. So one thing I've learned about art, creating things like that, is that it's a healing tool. You know, it's even though, I mean, I, I honestly did not feel like getting back into it for a while. But it is a healing tool. And that I can't let myself vegetate. I need to do, get myself back going again. And when I saw this solar paste, it was, you know, like a motivation for me. Because I love things like this and I love... Uh, mixed media too and this was like a motivation for me because it was so pretty and it was so easy to use so I enjoyed that so now to the next one here we go now uh, this one is called golden hour so it's going to have a gold sheen to it and all I got to do is whoops not that one yeah I need to wash it Lesson learned. So I pulled this off, forgetting to hit the uh, un unpause button. <laughs> anyway, this is what the last one looked like. Looks like, I should say. And I love it. It is gorgeous. All right, now let's see what else we got here. Let's take this black one again. And I'm going to take this. Okay, now I'm going to play with this. I love this one. I want to put it all over or just in parts. No, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put it on. And this, there's no paste underneath it, so we're just doing the card with the paste and stencil. No, no other paste on there. But what color do we want? Do we want, again, the uh, Golden Hour? That is very pretty. Hmm. I'm going to try the Golden Hour first.
to put it at the top. It sticks really good to me. Well, it came out pretty good. Isn't that pretty? All the shimmer to it. Oh, I wish you could see it better. It's just gorgeous. Oh, there we go. That's pretty on there. I love it. I'm going to just lay this paper napkin down for now. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Or a paper towel. All right. So you have this. I love the design in that one. Again, it's going to dry really quickly. It won't take long. This is already dry. I love that. And then, this one's not going to get to go on the paper towel, but I'm not sure which one's my favorite yet. Look at that shine. It is gorgeous. Head upside down. So anyway, I will see you next time. Be sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you would. And check out my channel and all the other videos in the description box below. And this is not sponsored by anyone. I just did it because it was fun. So bye for now. Have a great day and God bless you all.